Well, we got one, but one obviously is not good enough. And uh, it was a real struggle just to get one. We need up on that and and one. Got a blue high five, so we still have life. And we're still alive and we're still kicking and we're still moving forward. So uh, that's the good news. Bad news is it was it was tough just to get one game. It was really tough. So uh, we got to see if we can turn around and and uh, and try to get two. And the old cliche, you know, one at a time. And uh, that's what it really is. It's, it's, the reason it's a cliche is because everybody says it, and it's a it's always true. You have to play it one by one. So um, we got one more in front of us. Uh, and whether we, you know, um, you know, we're just not going to look at our history. We're not going to look at our future. We're just going to focus on on one game, and that's it. And uh, uh, see what we can do. But it was a tough one. It was uh, took everything we had to, to beat them. And uh, uh, they are a team that understands their system and runs their system extremely well. Um, and uh, you know, we're just trying to find some things that can make them a little uncomfortable. And, uh, um, and we don't know if it's going to work twice. So we got to continue to think out of the box and continue to try to, try to win. Because we play, we allow them to play their game just the way they want to. And they're going to, they're going to eat us up. And we know that. And they've proven that. Uh, they get us three straight games playing the way they want to play. And uh, we haven't been able to um, put a dent in them until tonight. So. Uh, but you never know. Uh, they beat us three straight. There's no reason why we can't beat them three straight. But uh, we'll just focus on one right now. Sorry, Dan. Justin brought the No, we certainly needed him, didn't we? <laughs> Um, yeah, he was uh, he was very upset about the fourth quarter in uh, game one, and uh, I think that's why he came out a little giggled in game two, and he was not uh, playing at a good tempo. He wanted to make it up so badly, and uh, but he came out with a better tempo tonight. He only had two points, I think, at halftime, but I'm not sure. I may be wrong. Um, Six points in the first quarter. Six points in the first three quarters. So. Um, you know, he was really trying hard to do what we wanted to do, trying not to force things, and which he felt he did in game two. So, um, you know, he followed our game plan as, as, as well. And that's the great thing about John. He's not only a great player, but he follows game plans, and he sacrifices himself. And uh, he does all the things that really, truly make him a great player. And, uh, um, and I think that's why we won tonight. And then when it took time, you know, it took – you know, when it was his time to take over, he took over. Um, but, you know, we still haven't gotten Stanley on track. And there's, you know, there's still so much we can do better. We haven't gotten Stanley on track. Uh, um, we're still trying to figure out the best way to play Greg and Chaput tonight. We played them together, um, which is kind of a departure from what we've been doing. But, you know, we're just saying, you know, we put three big guys out there, Chaput, Greg, and... Uh, and Justin, you know, someone's going to have to guard somebody over there. They, they can't continue to play their, their little lineup. So, uh, um, you know, we just try to give them some challenges tonight. And they responded very well each time. Each one, they had a great response to the challenge. And uh, my hat's off to them. They played really well tonight, Three, third consecutive night, third consecutive game. Yeah, well, they weren't shooting the ball extremely well. But the, the open shots they did get, they didn't knock down. They didn't get, obviously, you know, in game two, I think they had 28 three-point shots in the first half only. And uh, so, you know, we, we made a point to come out and really try to limit the number of attempts. Not the makes, but the number of attempts. And uh, we did that a little bit more. We were a little bit more disciplined. Um, uh, defensively and, and held them down. Now, whether we can do that again, we'll see. You know, it, it's, it's, it's a tough thing to do. Like I said, they played 
They played really a tough, tough game, and we were lucky to squeeze it out. When Justin was a bit struggling, uh, no one's kind of messed up. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, um, you know, like everyone, we bled for every point. You know, it was it Justin bled for his points, we bled for our points, and I think that uh, uh, Top of Test bled for theirs. It was one of those games where we were desperate and they were trying to close us out, and um, I thought we both played outstanding defense. They've been playing outstanding defense through the whole series. And, uh, but tonight was the first time we really played outstanding defense and the kind of defense we wanted to play. So, um, you know, well, again, back to the drawing board tomorrow and, and see what we can come up with and, and see what we can throw at them on, on, on game four. Coach, you advance in game two zero points tonight, um, 13 points to what you yeah, we, we told Joe that he had to really look for a shot more, um, especially inside. And, you know, um, he had a big three for us. But more than that, he was he was more of an inside presence for us. And uh, he had, like, I think seven points in the third quarter of game two. And that was our best quarter of the whole series when he was a threat and he was scoring. So we tried to get him to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, you know, they're daring him to shoot. We, know, we want Scotty to be more aggressive. They're daring Scotty to shoot. And uh, uh, those two guys come out and shoot and hit shots, then it opens up the game for everybody else. Because right now they're, 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 their game plan is, you know, stop Stanley and stop Justin and, and collapse on the big guys and let, you know, keep one guy, keep one eye on LA and then kind of completely ignore Joe and Scotty. Uh, that's one of the reasons we played Mark a lot this morning the other day because we knew that you can't just, you know Mark, you just can't ignore Mark. Mark's going to hurt you if you ignore him. Uh, uh, but, uh, so, you know, he, he's a big threat for us. I like, I like when he's out there on the floor. But if Scotty and Joe are aggressive and, and uh, that doesn't mean they have to hit every three-point shot that's available. What it means is they have to be aggressive to the rim, aggressive around the rim, aggressive uh, in mid-range. If they're doing that, then, then it really opens up, forces the defense to uh, account for them and, and opens it up for the other guys. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Mm -hmm.